Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about elements and locators. So let's begin. Elements are basically and components which are available on the websites. So for example, if you go to any application or web application, so you will see that you will find some links, input fees, button, radio option, checkboxes. So there are so many things you can see on different web applications. So these are known as elements. Now, now, when we know about these elements so in order to automate those elements first what we need to do is that we need to locate them and there here comes a locators so if we talk talk about locators so what are locators locators are used to locate these kind of elements uniquely so we need to identify or locate these elements uniquely on the web applications and there are eight locators available in the selenium right now so you can locate these elements using id name tag name class name link text partial link text xpath css selector now let's learn about these locators practically so let me open the browser and on the browser you need to go to this website which is open source dash demo dot orange hrmlife.com so this is a website and this is a login page here so as we discussed earlier whatever you see in terms of components on different web applications are known as element so this is an input field where you can provide any input this is also an input field this is a button this is a link here and again this is a link here so these are some limited options here let me go here and log in this application so both username and password is provided above so we will be providing the same here and we will go through this application a bit to understand about different elements so here once you log in you will see a different options here let me go to admin then users okay and here again this is a input type this is a button this is a checkbox this is a drop down so all these things you can see on any application is known as element okay now what we need to do is that we need to use the locators to identify these elements so for that what we need to do is that go to that element click on that element then right click and click on inspect okay so once you inspect it will highlight that particular field so here you can see that this particular field has id so this is the id so you we can locate this particular element using id we can also locate this with the name also this is a tag input is a tag we can identify this with the tag and what would uh, we also do is that we can locate this using the css and html as well and now if we talk, talk about you know identifying and locating the different elements it's a bit hard to go and find the element and locate and find the locator of that particular field for that what i would suggest is that let me open the firefox here and let me go to this same website here and let me copy this url and let me go here and let me paste this url here now the best solution is that you need something very efficient which can help you to find the locator right there are two very good extensions available one is known as crow path and other is known as selector hub so you need to go to the google and type download crow path extension for your respective browser so you need to go there click on the link and on that link you need to install so right now it's already installed so it's asking me to remove that one similarly what you need to do is that you need to go here and type download selectors hub for firefox and you will get this link here click on this link again this is already installed on my browser okay so that's why it's asking me to remove otherwise it will give you an option to install these extensions on your browser once it will be installed successfully you will get these here so this is a selector hub and this is a crow path so both work in a similar way but the selector hub is having uh, advanced features so we will go step by step in our upcoming sessions and we will learn selector hub in detail so let me 
click on this one so there are some information available here about this particular extension how to use that and similarly you will find some instructions about this selector hub okay now what you need to do is that again you need to select that particular field or element and then against that element you need to right click and you need to click on inspect and once you click inspect here you will see a different options here and then we have show all tabs and under these show all tabs you will find both crow path and selectors hub let me click on crow path right now and that's the interface of crow path here and you can see that it uniquely identifies my particular element and these are the locators so what we just need to do is that we need to copy and we will be using those liquiders when we will actually be automating this field so there are multiple selectors available similarly on the selector hub you need to provide your email company name and you need to provide uh, your password and then you can register and you will have the similar interface here so from next tutorials we will be having these selector hub things in our detail and now once you will have the locator what you will need to do so let me open uh, the notepad here let me step by step step so step one is to identify the element uniquely using using locators uh, let me correct it locators okay then once we will locate this element using our script then we will perform actions okay we will perform different actions now what we mean by different actions here so different actions means uh let me go back here onto the application once you will identify this one so as a user from the user perspective or as automation engineer what you will do you will provide your input here like correct username correct password incorrect username incorrect password so you would be executing different set of data in short you either you would be providing some input or not so in order to provide something this means that you are performing some action similarly once we will identify this button then what kind of action we can perform so we can click on this button similarly we can click on this url so as we go and progress in these tutorials we will actually learn step by step how we can identify different elements available on the applications and what kind of the operations we can perform on these applications that will help you to automate your applications effectively thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial